If you're part of a government or a private business, House Bill 7055, also known as the Local Government Cybersecurity Act, will have an impact. I'm Curtis McAllister, and this is more on technology. Let's talk about it. HB 7055 has outlined a number of new requirements local governments must follow from the implementation of training to required reporting timelines. Now, I wanna be clear. There has always been reporting guidelines in place in the government community. And many private sectors have them as well. So this is nothing new. Training has been recommended for years. With HB 7055, the requirement for both are being shored up, better defined and more structured. Also, what I would argue is the most impactful of HB 7055 is the rule that no local government will be allowed to pay a ransom. This is a very big deal. I'm gonna explain why. But first, let me start by saying that I don't ever wanna pay a ransom to recover my data. I don't want the organizations that I support to pay a ransom as doing so propagates the cycle. You know what they say, if you give a mouse a cookie, it's gonna want a glass of milk. But there have been many instances where paying the ransom was required to get the services back up and running quickly. Not a technical problem, a social problem. Not that all the pieces weren't in place for a full recovery, but the time it would take for the full recovery would cause more harm than the cost of the ransom. With HB 7055, that's not an option. This means we have to ensure that not only can you recover from the ransomware attack, but you can do so quickly with the least amount of disruption as possible. We will spend the next several videos talking about how we can do that, hopefully without breaking your budget. But let's get started. Now, for the sake of getting the information out in a meaningful way, we're going to break everything down and place them in one of three categories. There is not one category that is more important than the other. They all work together and often complement each other to provide a whole solution. We're gonna break them down into people, technology, policies, and procedures. We will jump into the technical details in the next video. Until then, gather your organization's policies, your cybersecurity, disaster recovery, and business continuity. And if you don't have them, don't worry. We're gonna go into what should be in each of these. Also, if you currently have a cyber liability policy, get a copy of it and review the requirements and the coverages. They're important to know. Until next time, if you need more information, give me a call, we'll talk about it. To learn more about how James Moore's Technology Solutions Consultants can help you and your organization, give us a call at 888-387-6851 or visit technology.jmco.com.